Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome uh, to Friday the 13th. Um, I'm going to be playing through the Virtual Cabin 2.0 on PC, um, and I'm going to show you how to beat it. Um, there's a lot more to explore than what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to show you and explain, try to explain as quick as I can, like what I'm doing and what steps I take, where to find everything. Um, so follow along and you'll beat it. Um, if you wanted to explore on your own first, I'd recommend that. And then if you get stuck, come back to this and maybe check out parts of it. But uh, here it goes. So around the cabin, um, the first thing you're going to find are newspapers uh, and magazines. Um, so on the back of all these, you'll see at the bottom here, uh, word guess. They're on all the magazines and newspapers. There are six of them in the house. Um, and what you're going to do is answer those trivia questions. Um, a lot of them, if you know, if you've watched the movies, you'll figure them out. Um, or you can look them up online. But basically, they all culminate if you look at the underlying letters in those for a password uh, for the computer. So after you have figured that out, uh, the word is mother. You click check for updates on the computer here. Uh, and you're going to enter that in. Mother is the word. And what this is going to do says virtual cabin patch 1.1 um you're, it's going to open one of the rooms it's going to give you an inventory you're going to be able to crouch which you won't be able to do without that um and then it'll allow you to pick up items and interact with them and things things like that um so now what we want to do is we want to collect four different badges the first one we're going to collect um deals with jason's masks um and there there's some that are hidden and there's some that are up on the wall upstairs the first hidden one is down here uh, you're going to want to crouch down and pick that up. Uh, the next one is going to be in the newly unlocked room after the update, um, I believe. Let me see. Ooh, there's a snake there. Careful of that. That will scare you. Um, let me see. It's right here. So that's part three. Um, and then the last mask that is hidden is upstairs in a bedroom. Pretty sneaky, actually. Um, it is in here, and it is in this tent, and you can grab it there. So once you have those three hidden masks, uh, you can come back up here upstairs to the wall. What you're going to want to do, basically, is put all the Jason masks in the order uh, of the film. So part three being the first one. You don't have to find... There's no hockey sack for part two. So you put part three... Um, Part four, I believe that's part four. Um, actually, no, this is part four, I'm sorry. Whoops. There we go, that's part four. Um, part five, part six, and let's see if I remember here. Maybe this is part seven, and this is part eight, and this should be part nine. So once you have all of them up there like this, three, four, five, you want to pick up this one. That's the part five mask. Uh, that's going to give you a badge here. Collect, go ahead and uh, oops, collect that one. That's your first of four badges inside the house. Um, the next puzzle you're going to do deals with some um, dolls and figurines that make a scene in the house. Uh, there's two of them. Here's the first one. Go ahead and just collect all these figurines up. Um, come into this bathroom. Grab this figurine here. And then in the unlocked room, go over to here and collect these figurines. And so what you're going to want to do is recreate the scenes from these movies. So this is part nine, I believe. Never saw this one, but um, this is one of the scenes. You're going to want to put the part nine Jason here. You're going to want to put... Where is he? I believe it's this gentleman here. No. Is it him? Let me see. Yeah. Wait, this is... I'm sorry. This is the wrong scene. This is part three. I'm sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, I was wondering what the heck was happening. So here's part three. He is killing, I believe, this gal. And I believe 
this guy goes there. So that's that one. This is the part nine scene out here in the front. Um, Jason goes in the middle, part nine Jason. Um, this guy goes here, and this gal goes there. And boom, there's the second badge. So there's that one. Um, the next one is for, um, whoops, why am I having so much trouble picking up these badges? So the next one is for finding um, some items that are specific to certain movies and placing them um, on pedestals relating to the movie number. So there's one in here in the new unlock room, the sheriff's badge. Uh, there is one in here, a bandana. Um, let's see, I think there's one. There's not one in there. There's a hat at the front that you need to collect here. This is one. And then get ready, uh, spoiler alert, there's a jump scare up ahead um, when you're doing this one. Um, boom. Not really that big of a jump scare. It scared me for some reason. Uh, there's a yo-yo. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to see these pedestals around uh, the house. Uh, each one representing uh, a number of film. So this one is the part two film. Uh, I w this is one I had trouble with. I wasn't aware that this um, apparently is from part two, Sheriff's Badge. So that goes there. Uh, there are more items around the house to collect. That's kind of confusing. Um, for example, there's like some 3D glasses you can find. Uh, oh, and videotapes. But the videotapes, I can't, you know, I guess no one's really figured out what they really mean. They all are paused at a certain time. Uh, and there's like these 3D glasses, and I thought the 3D glasses were part three because they had they were mentioning 3D in part three, but actually for part three, um, it is the yo-yo because this is the scene they use the scene with the yo-yo to demonstrate the 3D at the time, the 3D technology being super cool. So there's that one. Um, the other two I believe are downstairs, the pedestals. Let's see. I think there's one in here. This one is part one. And that is the bandana from Mr. Christie, the uh, guy bringing back the Camp Crystal Lake swag, starting the franchise. Um, and then this is part four, and this is Crispin Glover's hat from the movie. So I had to take that badge. And then the final badge um, comes for um, dialing Jason's mom, Pamela, on the phone. Uh, you can get this number uh, by looking through various items throughout the house. Uh, I am not exactly sure how to determine the order, but there's a way to determine the order in which you need to put the numbers. For example, there's their blue numbers. This is one of them here for, um, and then there's one in the kitchen. It actually is the potato sack mask from part two, and it has on there one number. I forget which one it is, but um, we'll skip that. We're going to dial a number here. Um, and... So what we're gonna do is dial the number for Pamela. It's one, five, 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 three, four, two, and nine, oops, two, seven, seven. Who is this? Where is my boy? And that gives you the badge. There's actually um, phone numbers. For example, this uh, Crystal Lake Police Department, there's also a phone number for a diner. Um, and then the Insane Asylum Hospital. The, if you dial like five or six times, um, the people on the line get killed. Uh, I thought you had to do that actually to get this patch that we just got, but you don't actually have to do it. And it's very annoying because it takes forever to dial the numbers. But you can do that if you'd like. It's a little another Easter egg. Um, and so what you're going to want to do is on the computer over here, you're going to want to change the dates on the computer. Um, and what you're going to change it to is, uh, July 13th, I believe 1979. And this date is significant because it's the, um, I believe it's the date that took, the first movie took place on in the movie, not like when it was released or anything. So you'll hear a phone ring, just remember that for now. Um, come back in here to the kitchen and place your badges here. And 
people, and that'll open this secret spooky passageway. Um, and you can go ahead and go downstairs. Don't get too spooked. Um, you can see Jason is all around you. Um, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And wow, that's a lot of Jasons, and that is scary. Boom. Okay, and you have some covered ones here. And what you want to do is answer this phone here. And this will be the end of the cap. There's always a way. Ooh! And that's it. That's the virtual cabin, folks. There you have it. What a great ending. That's all there is, guys. There's, that's all there is in the first part, that is. Okay, so what you want to do after this is go back into the virtual cabin. Open it up here. Um, we're going to go through a second time. And do some more secret spooky things. So he's loading patch 1.3. And what you want to do is, you can explore it again, uh, but what you're going to want to do here is change the date again back to June 13th. Oops. Uh, 1979. That's going to have the phone ringing. Oh God! You should have been watching him. Oof. Oh God! So you hear the glass breaking? Now you're in for a real spook, boys. Oh! It's scaring me, even though I've already done this. Oh my God! Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm scared and I've done this. Boom, part three, Jason is gone. Go upstairs. And, oh my god, the counselors are dead. Um, you're gonna see it. Oof. Don't worry, guys, it's just a bot player. It's not a real player. Oh my god. Oof. Everyone is dying here. Go upstairs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bugsy, why'd you do it? Oh my god. Go back downstairs, I believe. Go in here. Oh, Tiffany, what the hell? That booty was too fun. Oh my god. Oh my god, why'd they do it to him? Grab the key off of him here after you open the door, close it, open it, whatever. Grab that. Oh, leave the room. Oof. Go out front here. Oof. And you're gonna wanna go over here to the right. Use the key to open the shack. I'm, I'm scared, guys, and I've beaten this already. Oh my god. So. You got the shovel. So you're gonna want to go down here. Oh god, I'm getting scared. I forget what happens to you guys. Go up to the graveyard here. It doesn't help how slow you walk in this game, guys. I kid you not. Can't make this up. Alright. So what you're gonna want to do, collect this nice uh, fence post here. Grab that in your inventory. Go ahead and dig up this pile of dirt with the shovel. Mm, I think you guys know what happens next. Open the casket. Your boy's in there. Yikes. How are you doing? Go ahead and place this nice pole in here and watch the scene from part, uh, what is it, six? Yeah. Oh god. Get this. Oh god. Why'd you do it to him? Why'd you do it to him? Oh, 
Guys, he's just a bot, don't worry. He's one of the offline bots. Right. So they can't actually kill you. Good god, man. Grab the patch from in there. Oh god. So, this next part, guys, we're gonna go into these creepy woods here. Be very, very careful. Please be very careful. I'm going to try to be very careful because if you don't follow these steps exactly, you will get a nice little a spook. How you doing? You're gonna to want to follow these objects. Follow the machete in the exact direction it's pointing. Do not go away from the path. Please, I repeat, do not go away from the path. Follow this little heart arrow, this nice little sweet heart arrow here. Follow straight down the path to this arrow. Follow where the arrow is pointing to. Think of this like Zelda's nice uh, woods, the Kokiri Forest. Go down here, the Lost Woods. Except the Skull Kid is not in these woods. Um, and follow these little mallards on the ground. Follow where they're pointing over here to this nice little mound of dirt. And again, guys, remember, please remember to have the shovel with you. Um, and go ahead and dig up this hole here. Grab the patch. Um, I don't even know what that is in there. A bunny? A fucking squirrel? Grab the patch, boys. A dog. Um, grab the patch, and then you're going to gonna go get your third badge. And for this one, we are going to... Now, there is a little bit of... little. Um, Puzzle magic here. Apparently there's some frequencies you can tune to to find out this code. But what you're gonna wanna do to skip that fun part is set the frequency here. And you're going to want to go over to the nice fridge over here and um, look at the chicken while you're at it, the duck. Look at that. Um, and grab this lock here, put in this code that some nice people solved um, the puzzle for. Put in these four numbers again. I wish I knew what they meant. Four, three, one, two. That'll open this fridge up here. Oh god, it's Pamela's head. So go ahead and grab that. Come home to mommy, Jason. Listen to Mrs. Know. Pamela. Oh god, when did these guys get killed, boys? Go up here to Jason's mommy's house. Um, you know the drill, guys. You've played the game. All right. We're going into Jason's shack. There are multiple spawn locations for the sh sh Just kidding, this is the only one. Um, just go up the hill here. And just take your sweet time, because, you know, there's not a big hurry. You know, just walk as slow as possible. And go in the shack here. Yikes, there's the sweater. Place Mommy's head on the pedestal like a I'm good boy. Home. You did good. Oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Grab that badge. Oh god. You're gonna wanna go back down the hill here. Don't look behind you. Don't look behind you. Just kidding, it doesn't do anything. It's not layers of fear. And what you're gonna wanna do once you finally get past all of this. On your left, down here by the water, there's going to be a locked case with a gas canister in it. And unfortunately, you can't take the car, so you're going to have to take the goddamn boat. No one likes the boat, I know. But maybe it'll count towards your achievement progress here. Grab that. Um, put the gas here in the boat. Fill it up nice and good. And enjoy your ride. You've just completed, officially, the virtual cabin. What a nice scenery. Escaping to the cops by boat. Oh, nice. Can't do that in the main game. Can't escape to the cops by boat. Sounds like a good ending. Oh, what a lovely game. Oh, God. Part one, Jason, boys. What the hell? And you beat the game again. Come finally completed... Part two, and let's load the game back up for the third play here of the virtual cabin. This, guys, is the fun part. This is where it all ends. Jason, part three, the final chapter. This is it, guys. So you're gonna notice it loading back up. 1.6, new game plus plus, loading the virtual cabin debug.exe. So, what you're gonna wanna do, go out here. I 
think you could probably have done this in the last part, but just in case, you're going to go down here um, and listen to this good old radio here. Now the developers of the game are going to give you some secret advice. You might not even need to do this, but basically what these guys tell you is that you need a code, a very widely used code that has been throughout video game history because they were gamers in the early 90s and they love the Super Nintendo and NES. So what you want to do is put in the Konami code, boys. So that is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Whoops. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Oh, oh, that just freaked me out. So that lets you go into this debug mode. Um, what you're going to want to do is display SP FPS on. Um, uh, I don't know if you need that, but okay. Show collision on. Map collision off. Unknown errors. Okay. Close the debug menu, boys. You're going to want to go in here. Wow. Um, glitch through this door here. Ooh, look at that chair. Listen to this radio. We spent a lot of time tuning the game to make sure it was fun to play as a counselor, and we knew we had it win. <laughs> Funny guy's hilarious. How long have you been waiting to play that for? Anyways, we finally. The oh, developer. Shit. Oh, yeah. You got me. Oh, careful, bro. Your knife is tripping on the. Oof. And killed by Jason. Okay. Yikes. So what you're going to want to do next in this glitch land, grab this glitchy patch. Grab this glitchy patch. Now that is loud. That is loud. That is loud. Okay, you're going back into the virtual cabin. This cabin is glitched the hell out. Okay, I'm telling you, it's glitchy. You're going to want to find the glitch patches all over the house. 1.7, unstable build. And that is an understatement, boys. Oh, God. Look at these mothers. Boom. Boom. Oh, God. That is a developer. That is the CEO of Ilphonic. Oh, my God, boys. Grab. Grab. Get. Grab. 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 Boop. Grab. Get ready to be spooked, boys. Oh, God. You can grab the badges from Jason. You're going to want to grab three of them, so choose wisely because one of them is going to kill you. Uh, that would be the third one, so I'm going to get killed by part eight this time. Boom. Ow. Yikes. Billy Bob. Bam. Bit bop. Boom. Now that is a secret little Billy. And once that happens, guys, just get the hell out of here. Grab these patches. Boom. Bop. Bam. Bim. Bap. Billy. Bob. Thornton. Bam. Boo. B. Bop. Bim. Coming soon. Boop. Oh, and what the hell? Okay. So you can look at these items if you want, get some history here. We are in some crazy ass cabin. This is definitely virtual. Um, we're going out here, boys. We are in this space station here. Bim bop bam. And this is saying we are on the Grendel. This will awaken you to the fact that basically Friday the 13th is based on Beowulf. And that was really news to me. And to finally end this whole nightmare, open this door boys and get the big reveal of the virtual cabin the 2.0 enjoy oh god jason x uber jason jason from spacen and i actually suggested this in a quick match i mean i don't really keep up with a lot of the updates but i was playing and i was like how cool would you play jason in space and they're doing it guys the space map grendel map with uber jason is coming soon and there you have it, folks. That is officially Virtual Cabin 2.0. Now, let's go back. I haven't gone back. I played this on Xbox, but I haven't gone back into the Virtual Cabin after beating it. Ooh. Um, okay, 2.0. Nice. Okay. So apparently, you'll see Jason X now. But I had an 
uh, hankering here. Um, I remember seeing there was another covered glass cabinet down here that um, the person online said part three broke out of. Oh, it's child Jason. Okay. See, this I wasn't um, aware of. This is the kid Jason. And here is Jason X. Um, I was hoping that this would be Pamela in this cage and not, you know, still covered basically as like a, you know, because as you see, there's part two, part three, part four. So I, would, I thought that maybe this is part one, which would have been, the killer would have been, uh, spoiler alert, Pamela, in which case that would be the next character they reveal. So I hope to God Kid Jason is not a character. Uh, I hope it's Pamela that they choose. But definitely we'll be getting uh, Jason X here shortly. Um, well, by shortly, you know, within the next few years or so, maybe decade. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like uh, and subscribe, all that jazz. You can also catch me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash metalfistdoom. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll be posting more videos like this. See you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.